Hello. If you are trying to understand some concepts on transformers, this video would be a good one for you. So I would recommend watching it. Welcome to Engineer Simple. The equation that you see on the screen is really a key equation. So what it says is, as you know, transformers, they have a primary side and a secondary side. The prime, basically you, st you take the voltage or power and you transform it from one side to the other, whether you step up or step down, you know, the voltage. And each winding has turns. It has a number of turns to get the right voltage. So what this equation says is, the number of turns, n is just the number of turns, and the primary winding divided by number of turns in the secondary winding is equal to the voltage in the primary winding divided by the voltage in the secondary winding, which is equal to the square root of the primary impedance divided by the secondary impedance, which is equal to the current in the secondary winding divided by the current in the primary winding. So notice the pattern here, primary, 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 but for current, it's secondary. So we can take this equation here and kind of parse it to make it simpler. So one concept we can derive from this equation here is we have, in, in transformers, we have equal amper turns. Amper is current times turns. So turns times amps. So number of turns in the primary times the number uh, times the the current in the primary is equal to the number of turns in the secondary winding times the secondary current. Then we have equal volts per turn. So the primary voltage divided by the number of turns in the primary winding is equal to the primary to the secondary voltage divided by the number of turns in the secondary winding. So this is another key concept. So power in equals power out. So the power in the primary uh, the pri primary winding is equal to the power in the secondary winding. Obviously, we are ignoring losses, which are not a lot. Three phase apparent power is equal to square root of three times the line to line voltage times the line current. So that's how you calculate the, the three phase uh, apparent power. The winding with the highest voltage has the lowest current and the winding with the lowest voltage has the highest current. And when dealing with transformers, you wanna be consistent in using either per phase or phase-to-phase -phase units. Transformers, they can be connected as delta or y. So the primary can be a delta or y, and the secondary winding can be a delta or a y. So if we have a delta winding, the following concepts are true. So let's assume this is a delta winding. You say it's closed, so you have one winding, two windings, three windings. The phase current is equal to line current divided by square root of three. So here's the phase current is flowing inside the delta. Is equal to the line current divided by square root of three. And here's the winding. The the line to line voltage, the line to line to voltage is from here to here is equal to the phase voltage. So because this is line to line and it's also a phase. If you have a Y winding, the phase current is the same as the line current. So here's a Y winding, here's one winding, two windings, three windings. This is just a neutral. So the line current is flowing and it's gonna go to the winding. So it's line current is the same as the phase current. And the phase voltage, is, so from here to here, is phase voltage. And the line-to-line -line voltage is from here to here. So the phase voltage is equal to line-to-line -line voltage divided by a square root of 3.
Let's do a quick example. Let's assume we have a three-phase transformer rated 20 kV delta, 480 volt Y, and we have the primary current, which is 125 amps. That's a line current. One, what is the three-phase KVA of, transfer, of the transformer? Then, what is the secondary line current? So the KVA for the three-phase is square root of three times the line-to-line -line voltage times the line current of the primary, and it's also equal to the square root of three times line-to-line -line in the secondary of the secondary voltage times the line current uh, line current of the secondary winding, because we said power in is equal to power out. So it's equal to square root of 3 times 20 kV times 125 amps, which is equal to 4330 kVA. There are two ways to calculate the line current in the secondary winding. So number one, we can sh just use kVA of the three phase divided by square root of 3 times the line-to-line -line voltage of the secondary. This is nothing else but an equation I showed in a previous slide. So I calculated the three-phase KVA. It's 4,330 KVA divided by square root of 3 times 480 volt. It's equal to 5,208 amps. Number two, I can just use one of these equations I showed in the previous slide. So amp return. So the line current in the secondary is equal to the primary voltage divided by secondary voltage times the line current in the primary. So primary voltage is 20 kV divided by 480 volts times 125 amps is equal to 5,208 amps. And you want to be careful here because here you have 20 kV. So K is times a thousand. And here you have 480 volts. So if you don't carry out the calculation properly, you are going to be off by a, a factor of a thousand. And note, since 125 amp is already a line current, I did not divide 480 volt by square root of 3. Because if this was a phase current, because 20 kV is phase voltage, this has to be phase voltage, so you want to be consistent. But I did not divide 480 volt by square root of 3, just because 25 amp is already a line current. So when dealing with transformer calculations, you want to pay attention to units when, you know, kV, MVA, and so on and so forth. Single phase versus three phase, you don't want to mix single phase and three phase quantities. Delta and Y. So when you are dealing with the delta, the phase voltage is the same as the line to line voltage, but the line current is square root of three times the phase current. When you are dealing with the Y, the phase current is the same as the line current, but the line-to-line -line voltage is square root of three times the phase voltage. That's it for this video. Thank you and uh, have a good day.